Hello everyone, my name is Aurélien Billot, I'm a mechanical engineering student and I'm going to present you um, a PowerPoint about an article um, treating the hydrogen pollution with a microbial bio biocathode. Uh, so you all know what is an MFC, uh, we, we saw it uh, with all of our comrades. And uh, now this time rather than producing uh, electricity by using uh, a biofilm, we will try to produce hydrogen while using uh, electricity. So, uh, I will uh, present you uh, first uh, an introduction of the, the concept, then the experiments, the results, then uh, how to go further um, on these uh, questions, and then uh, I will ask you some questions that, uh, that we will uh, answer together. First introduction, so, um, the hydrogen, first of all, it can be produced uh, basically um, by using a, a catalyst with uh, the, the process of electrolyse, just, uh, just putting some electricity. To, um, into water and uh, it will produce uh, the hydrogen but we want to uh, to make it uh, to make it uh, make it more um, optima, optimi, optimum and also um, a lot generally platinum is used as a catalyst for, uh, for to electrolyze uh, to electrolyze water into uh, the hydrogen but uh, the problem is the current descent density the platinum is really expensive and um, with a biocatalyst electrolyse, as you can see uh, at, the at the top right of the, of the slide, the, um, the current density of a biocatalyzed bio electrolyse is really low compared to uh, one of the um, compared to one of a con con conventional fuel cell. So uh, yes, the platinum is not um, the current density is not uh, high enough to justify to justify the, the expense of platinum. In this uh, research paper, we want to develop a biofilm to produce uh, the hydrogen. So the whole uh, article is based on one, uh, on one uh, base, which is the reversibility of the hydrogen hydrogenases. So the fact that uh, we can go from the hydrogen and to produce two uh, two H plus and two uh, electrons, and the opposite direction. It's, it's uh, really important to be able to go in the opposite direction. The whole uh, the whole uh, the whole experiment is based uh, is based on this. Uh, so to produce uh, this um, this biocathode, uh, it's gonna be developed by a three uh, three phase uh, startup procedure that you can see uh, at the at the bottom right of the slide. Uh, I will detail it uh, right after. So uh, during the experiment, two uh, identical electro electrochemical cells are used. Um, one cell possesses uh, two electrodes uh, chambers separated by a cation, uh, cation selective membrane. So now I'm going to detail uh, this uh, three-phase uh, procedure. So first of all, uh, we want to, um, to put some biofilm um, on, the, on an anode. So this biofilm is already coming from uh, uh, already functioning MFC. So uh, the biofilm is pretty uh, it's a mix, mixture of a lot of uh, different uh, microbes, uh, and we, um, we nourish it with acetate and H2. Uh, so right now, the um, the whole uh, the whole cell is uh, producing electricity. So, but it's not not at all what we want. So um, then, the next step of the procedure is just nourishing the the biofilm with uh, H2, so that uh, it will uh, will only uh, keep. The microbes that we want, so uh, the one that will uh, in the future produce uh, H2. So right now they are consuming H2. So this is the opposite of what you want. So uh, 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 we uh, in the phase two we have uh, we have just microbes uh, consuming H2 and producing uh, electricity. So uh, this is the opposite uh, of what we want. So we pass uh, to the next step, uh, which is uh, the inversion of uh, the polar polarity, and then uh, we. Uh, the wall make we, we, change, we change the metabolism of all the, mic the microbes, so they will um, produce, they will consume um, cation and um, and produce uh, the hydrogen. So we inverted the the wall uh, the wall uh, system, the metabolism of the microbes. So now we are using currents, are using currents, and the um, the polarity has, has been reserved, and the microbes are now catalyzing uh, hydrogen. Uh, so during this experiment, uh, there were, there is, I repeat, two, uh, two, um, 
two identical uh, electrochemical, electrochemical cells that are used. One of them um, get this procedure done, while the other one is um, is, is keeping like it was um, at the at the first step. It's uh, nothing is done on this one, so it's basically just a catalyzing of uh, diverge. Um, during the experiment, we have all the detail, like uh, for example, um, how the uh, the nourishment of the uh, of the biofilms, uh, the space flushing. So at first, yes, we are using uh, H2, and then we are using um, N2, which is uh, very practical because it it won't it's, uh, it won't uh, mixing it won't mix with um, with uh, the hydrogen since it's a noble gas, and uh, we also have the detail of the bioelectrode bio potential. Um, then the result, uh, as we can see, um, at first we have the inoculation of the reactor at a bioelectrode potential of 0.1 volt. So we're just basically just uh, putting all the um, the biofilm on the uh, on the uh, on the uh, anode. Currently, it is the anode. Then too, uh, we uh, switch from uh, batch to continuous mode. So now we are nourishing the uh, the um, the biofilm um, continuously, and we can see that we are uh, beginning to uh, to produce a current density. So now the uh, the biofilm is developing. It's uh, it's uh, producing current density. It's nourishing from acetate and uh, H2 until uh, some point like uh, c uh, seven um, seven point two, if I remember well, of uh, current density. Uh, then step three, um, the bioelectrode is uh, lowered from 0, 0, 0, 0.01 to uh, minus 0, 0, 0.02 volt, so there is a drop of the current density. This is normal. Uh, step four, the sodium acetate is removed. So this is the step, the step where we want to keep just the microbes that are uh, that will produce the hydrogen. We want to remove all the other microbes. Then we're doing some uh, procedure to test if um, the biofilm is really composed of majoritarily of um, of microbes that will consume hydrogen in the future so uh, it is the purpose of the, the step five and six so at first we um, we, uh, we uh, increase the, the rate of the uh, gap profile bottle so basically um, we, we we make circulate more um, hydrogen into the, uh, into the cell so uh, so yeah, we can see that uh, the current density is uh, increasing because yet yeah, the, the microbes are using more hydrogen. So this is normal. Then we reduce it again. It's dropping and uh, it's dropping again. We uh, increase it again. It's uh, increasing again. We uh, decrease it again. It's decreasing again. So every everything is normal. We uh, it's, it seems to be uh, completely completely filled with uh, hydrogen uh, consuming the micro. Then another test, the 7 and 8 are just um, replacing the hydrogen flushing by uh, nitrogen flushing. So uh, the microbes are consuming hydrogen, not uh, nitrogen. So yeah, we, as we can see, uh, the current density is completely drop dropping, almost at zero. So we can, uh, we can deduce that all the biofilm is uh, nitrogen consuming. Then we uh, link the step 3. And we are interesting the polarity at step 9 and uh, we can see that uh, first of all attention the current density uh, went from uh, positive to negative so now we are consuming current we are consuming current not producing and it is slightly um, slightly um, increasing in the, in the negative because um, the micros are um, are uh, changing their metabolism uh, more and more. Not directly, it takes uh, some time. So, yes, uh, continuously, the, all the microbes are uh, going uh, until uh, they reach uh, a consumption of uh, minus um, 1.2 ampere per, per square meter. We can uh, see the polarization curve of the biocathode. Um, so, we are comparing the we are comparing the, the first uh, cell who, uh, 
where there, were, well, there wasn't any uh, three-phase procedure, so this is the white one, and uh, the black one uh, with the, the three-phase uh, procedure, so the player cathode, the control cathode, and also we have uh, one point uh, with the platinum-coated uh, titanium, uh, so it's a good comparison to uh, make with uh, the titanium, but not to uh, compare it completely, we can't, uh, so, because as we can see, the, the black one seems to have a, a better current density consumption that, uh, than the, uh, the platinum, but that, that doesn't mean that the, uh, uh, the biocathode is completely uh, better than the, uh, the uh, biocathode. It's, um, it's, uh, it's just better at one point, but may maybe under other conditions it will be completely different. Uh, then we are um, the, the real result, so uh, how many uh, hydrogen is produced, this is what we want. So uh, before, uh, before this test that will uh, show uh, how many uh, hydrogen is produced by the biocathode, uh, there was a problem. After the, um, after the three-phase uh, procedure, uh, the only gas uh, going outside of the, uh, of the cell was uh, methane. Because there was a problem, one of the microbes was using the was consuming the, the, the hydrogen produced by the other microbes and uh, producing methane. So, um, so uh, an attempt of uh, removing the bicarbonate from the microbial nutrient was made to uh, prevent uh, the hydrogen neutrophobic uh, methanogenic uh, consumption of hydrogen, hydrogen gas. So, uh, as we can see uh, in this. Um, in this results, um, there are two. There are two. Um, there are four results actually. There's the theoretic, the theoretic uh, one, and uh, there is the, the the real result. What we uh, what we uh, really had. So we, we can see that there is a difference, a big difference between uh, the, the theory and the, the practice. So we, we will see why. So yes. Uh, the major reason of this uh, difference is um, because a lot of the half, in fact half of the hydrogen uh, diffused through the catch-up filter. So this is a problem that, um, that uh, the scientists who want to develop this, um, this cell will have to face. They want to make uh, eventually a thicker uh, catch-up filter uh, to reduce the, um, the hydrogen diffusion through it. Because yeah, uh, currently we lost uh, half of the hydrogen we were uh, uh, we wanted to produce, so this is uh, this is uh, currently uh, a big loss of uh, what we could have uh, had. And uh, yes, to compare to the um, to the control cathode, the result is still uh, way better. Furthermore, um, yes, the scientist wanted to um, to uh, really prove that uh, that the biocathode uh, was. Uh, was from a uh, bacterial origin, so uh, they, they used uh, carbon monoxide. So the, the purpose was to simply to replace, uh, to put the carbon monoxide uh, inside uh, the, uh, the fuel cell. The microbes, do, microbes don't like uh, carbon monoxide, so they will stop uh, functioning uh, with this uh, with this gas. And uh, indeed, um, all the, fuel, the all the, the cell stopped uh, functioning with this. And after uh, they purified it and uh, replaced it with uh, hydrogen again, it started uh, functioning again. So, good news, uh, it's, pure, it's, proved, proven, it's proved that um, the biofilm is uh, actually from a bacter bacterial origin. Um, then, uh, we want also to, uh, to regulate the, um, the, um, the, the carbon inside the uh, inside the, the cathode uh, because it's um, it, can, it can be uh, it can be important for regulating the for example the microbes that were uh, producing methane for example so uh, this is another uh, another uh, another thing that we want to uh, to, uh, to control we can see also uh, then uh, pictures of uh, the, the three different uh, bio uh, uh, biocathode. So uh, the first one is a completely clear one, so no problem. The second one is the bio the biocathode that we've uh, been using uh, during the experiment, and the third one is after we transmit we um, we connected it. So this is the control cathode. So normally it would be uh, it should be completely uh, clean, but uh, after the experiment, the scientists decided to prove that um, it is possible to um, to uh, 
to uh, to create more biocathode with the first one. So they connected the two uh, the two uh, the two cathodes, and then the biofilm started to spread on the uh, other cathode. So we can see that the biofilm is uh, red, 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 the third one is rather small compared to the uh, compared to the big one. But uh, it's normal. It's because it's been just 800 hours rather than 2,000 hours. So yeah, it is uh, possible to spread uh, the biofilm on other cathodes. Uh, then uh, they are talking about a lot of um, theoretical um, uh, goals that, uh, that are completely not reached, so uh, there is a lot of improvement to do. Um, and also the fact that uh, they, they may have to investigate uh, the hydrogen transfer dynamic to, um, to uh, eventually um, optimize the, uh, the, trans the, the production of hydrogen and, uh, and uh, the transmission of cation. So, Thank you very much for the presentation. I will answer uh, uh, those questions in the um, in the end of the video. Thank you very much. Thank you everyone for, for listening to my presentation. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you understood everything I did and even the small jokes that I made. And I hope.